I'm Tom Gusky. I'm a professor of education psychology in the College of Education at UK. And my research currently focuses on the way teachers grade, how they gather information from students through assessments in their classrooms, and then how they report that information to parents and families. The grading practices used in most schools today are really steeped in tradition. We continue to use these practices, not because their effectiveness has been investigated, but simply because we've always done it that way. As we learn more about this, we find that there's probably no area in all of education where the gap between a knowledge base and practice is greater than in the year of grading. So that sort of compels us to, to move ahead in this area and, and lessen that gap, to make this knowledge base better known and help practitioners improve their policies and practices to fall more in line with what current evidence indicates can be beneficial for students. We know, for example, that when teachers grade their students that they, they need to grade them in terms of what they've learned and what they're able to do. In other words, grades need to be based on uh, specific learning criteria and not based upon a, a child's relative standing among classmates. We typically refer to, the, to that as norm-based or grading on the curve. And our evidence indicates that has lots of negative consequences for students, that when students are graded on the curve, everybody could have done miserably, it's just some that are less miserably than others. And we also know that that actually is detrimental to the relationship between students and detrimental to the relationship of teachers to students. So one of the, the primary factors that we find in this research is that grades should be really based on learning criteria, which means teachers have to specify what it is they want their students to learn and develop very good measures of the student learning that they can use then to base those grades upon. I think across the United States you see increasing emphasis on grading issues. It's the one aspect that's kind of been misaligned that we're trying to be clear about our standards for student learning, what we want students to learn and be able to do. We have made great progress in gathering information about how well students have learned those things. The one remaining element and the biggest challenge before us is to clarify how we communicate that information to students and to parents and to families so that they can become more involved in the process. When we become better at communicating with parents and guardians and uh, families about what the students are doing in school, opening up those avenues of communication. Uh, it just does remarkable things in a community where you see parents feeling better about contacting teachers when good things and bad things happen. Um, teachers being more open to relating to parents and being more specific in those communications so that they can target particular aspects of a child's learning experience. The other thing that has really been encouraging to me is that it allows us a framework for providing collaboration between schools and education organizations. So here in Kentucky, for example, all of our schools are working with the same standards for student learning. They are all working with the same assessment system, but each school is responsible to develop its own grading reporting system. Well, why couldn't we get some really smart people together and think about these issues in some depth and develop something that everybody could use. We have a very large program going on where we're helping Kentucky school districts revise their reporting strategies. We've been working very closely with some of the Fayette County schools. Two high schools in particular are really changing drastically their grading policies to bring them more in line with what we know is better practice. So that kind of collaboration has been remarkable to see and the strength of that in leading really systematic change here in Kentucky and then across the nation. That's been wonderful.